videos made with uh, NX2206 with build 8, 8060. It is not the latest version. It has not all big fixes, but uh, it will do the job. Um, I already did. We're going to use uh, several design bodies. And I already defined design spaces, scenery bodies, and construction bodies to show the difference. Go back to timestamp order. Then we go to topology optimization. And we're going to go for high speed. Uh, this uh, voxel size will um, change when after we sh uh, select the design space. So that's okay. Um, it is still, you go from left to right and design space performs when just you go and look at right mouse button, create new design space one. Okay, create new, this one. Okay, design space two. And we're gonna, for each uh, design space, we gonna follow from top to bottom. Um, uh, material is already selected. That is, it must be. Edit, that's here. Make sure that it's steel the first time, and then it remains on steel. Uh, construction bodies we gonna use here. In this part, is uh, we gonna add construction bodies, create new, and we gonna select uh, this body, and we say from that keep in. So this uh, cylinder will be in the optimized part. And we take no offset. And then we go for the next one. Get new. And we keep out this and we take two millimeters offset. Tap. And then this will not, here will know. Uh, Jump tree will be left for topol jumpization. Um, that's okay. Um, then we have, and we're going to first do create new optimization constraints. Okay, this is a rather big sketch part, so uh, 80 kilos is okay. And shape constraint create new is. Uh, member size, let me see, is that nice, it's 11 millimeters, minimum distance, uh, okay, the minimum member size it would be this, okay, then, why is up to date insufficient data missing? Um, material is shape construction. Oh yeah. Um, later on, we'll have to do some connections. Therefore, that is missing. Um, uh, let me see. We can do this construction body, and we make the air a shell. All thickness from this part. Then you get this as part in your topology optimization. Okay. Um, shape constraint. Now the optimization constraints we take the same, but we go to 100 kilos and we create new and we make a maximum member size of 660. Uh, scenery bodies, that's the connecting part. So we have, I don't know, this is one scenery body. Assign material, you could select another one. And 
you select another scenery body this one okay um then there is some yeah you have the connections to connect these parts together with those scenery bodies there are two uh, types of one you can body to body that's easy you select this one this one apply and then the other way around this one and this one apply so you this will in in uh, go into the solid bodies and the other connection option is face to face and we will do that and we say uh, select this face to that face apply select these face next to that one the offset okay and now we have to sell to go to the loads and analysis constraint um create new um uh i want to slide about this face okay and i want and that face and i want this sorry i want to do a pinned construction from this okay um let me see that's okay then i'm gonna load okay new i want to have can I only select a face or also a point? Hmm. Uh, we're going to select this face. That means probably that there has, later on will be some thickness. I want to buy vector. I want to do, yes, from point to point. I want from here, direction to there. And five, I'll uh, make it 6,000. Okay. Um, now is everything gone? Everything is okay. Study is ready for optimization. You can do right mouse button here, optimize or there. I do here. Um, I wait the first iterations because uh, it's always a little bit tension if everything is working. And then I'll keep pause until that uh, simulation is finished um this is reasonably fast one minute for the optimization and 122 for this that's nice so um close and let's see what's happening um show result Subcase select uh, scenery body apply. And you see the thickness and the connection into this this fix so here's almost no displacement if you have enough material that's what you expect i a little bit curious about the behavior here you see here f8 you see the that is out and this is included and you see this has the shell that's nice but i'm serious about uh of serious i'm looking at the scenery material i want to remove that oh that's not uh, where and we gonna um 
go back to the study. And okay, this is glued together, and this is let me see in the scenery bodies, they are out. This is connected to top, and this is inside. And maybe we'll remove the designs. Yeah, that's what I hoped for. This was the salt body connection in there. And it was the face-to-face -face gluing from the struts. So that is nice. Um, um, there is only one study this is if you had of uh, if you have more studies you have to be aware that this is important because you can make uh, a study active and do the simulation and still have the other study uh, be uh, presented here so this is uh, what i expected this pity that uh, well, it's just not a pity it's connecting here so that's okay Okay, you could try that with other uh, design space options of uh, uh, optimization constraints, but this is uh, to show you how you can do uh, multiple design spaces uh, optimized, getting op optimized. Oh yeah, um, if you stand ready there, it's nice to know that there, let me see, I want, uh, not, I want stress and apply. You can pick here the values, what there are. The values are reasonably low. That's nice. Okay. And uh, you can go back. Oh, sorry, there's not. We're going to make this. Again, visible on the design space is not necessary. Um, the active study is shown when you do finish in your modeling. If you have more uh, um, studies, you have to be sure that the, the stop, uh, topology optimization is correct. And why I am missing something that I forget. That's uh, strange. Just load. Oh, design, uh, the design spaces, where's the analysis? Okay, um, I'll be so finish. Okay, this was something weird happening. Design spaces are out, yeah, okay. Thank you for your time.